Hi there. Um, I'm making a video. Um, have you missed me? I, I hope you have. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean it like that. Um, awkward. I've just been listing stuff on eBay. I've made myself do it. Um, because. I don't know how many of you know, but I used to have a shop on there. I still have a shop on there, um, but it was going really well, and I don't really want to tell the whole story and everything, but it's just because, you know, I work part-time in boots, and um, okay, so my partner lost his job, and because of that, after a while, I couldn't really buy anything, so I'm not really doing it anymore, but I've still got some leftover bits and bobs of stock. And over time I've lost more and more interest in even looking at eBay, so I've really like forced myself to try and go through all the boxes because I'm having a clear out. I hate my bedroom. I've done a very foolish thing considering my financial situation and I've just bought some furniture um, on a catalogue so that I don't have to pay all in one go. In fact, I've done buy now, pay next year. Um, but we'll see when we get it, if we're going to keep it or not, because it was a very silly thing to do. You really shouldn't spend money when you haven't got it, but unfortunately, when you haven't got it, that's when you want to spend it more than ever. I'm sick of not having anything, and that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, I have had some really interesting dreams lately, and you've missed out on them. Sorry, I've been basically. I was got really down, and I couldn't get motivated to do anything. And so basically, I've tried. Basically, basically. Uh, so I decided to go to the gym more, um, which I did last week. Not so much this week because I was working late last night, and I was so tired on Monday because of Sunday. Anyway, and I've been seeing a. L I've you know being a lot more social with my actual friends um not just going out in general as such if you know what i mean um so obviously everybody has to be social sort of every day when they go out and talk to people but i'm talking about like i've been doing more fun stuff sort of thing so to try and cheer myself up and um yeah getting enough sleep apart from last night which i didn't i stayed up really late right i recorded makeup now you know i like to do makeup because i sell makeup at part of my job and it's kind of art and i'm an artist and um it's the near you know the nearest thing i can get to being an artist um i actually haven't been drawing anything for a while i should but hey that's another story yeah so yesterday um because i didn't have to get up at stupid o'clock in the morning and um when i can't really film what i'm doing I just quickly filmed what I was doing um, but I did it without sound so that I could do a voice over later explain what I was doing and um, I tried to st I stayed up last night after I got in and I'd done some things it was quite late and I did my finally did my voiceover and and I tried to add it to the picture and it was just messing it all up I don't know what I was doing. I must have been really tired. Do you know when you stay up late to do homework and and it gets, ri you know, obviously I haven't done homework in a while, but you know what I mean. You, um, it gets really hard and, and you can't do it and then you wake up in the morning and it's really easy and you think, huh? Because you didn't feel like you were impaired in any way at that time. It's quite scary, really, when you're tired and you don't realise how difficult it makes certain things. Um... Uh, so I sorted it out today but then I didn't want to upload it just that because I know a lot of you aren't really interested in that and anyway it's not that different from the other one I did I really wanted to do some different things but it just happens to be that I wear brown a lot of the time on my eyes because I've got green eyes even though it doesn't show in this camera sometimes especially when I'm sitting here um, we might be getting a sofa um, someone else's sofa it's my neighbours I was a bit worried because it's grey and we've got this awful green carpet in our flat and uh, at the moment it's kind of brown and green and I can do with two colours okay the walls are, are not brown or green but the you know the bookcases and the shutters and the sofas are either brown or cream, uh, green and I have cream throwers to throw over them to make them like the walls if I get if it's you know 
if it annoys me that they don't match because they don't match because I only bought one when I moved in here there was nothing here whatsoever I had a mattress and I just didn't sit down because I didn't have a sofa and I ended up buying one that was supposed to be cream and when it came it's neutral sort of horrible stone sort of colour doesn't sound horrible but it looks quite basic and um, I got that because it folds out into being a double bed but we're thinking of getting rid of that I've always said I didn't want to get rid of it but it's got stains on and stuff I would, it's not a brilliant bed either so anyway we're gonna get rid of that because and the sorry I start off and then I go back uh, the the other sofa I've got was given to me by my ex-boyfriend and that was his mum's and had been sat in a cellar not a cellar a garage or garage or whatever you call it um it'd be sat, sat in her garage for a while and uh and I've had it quite a few years. I've lived here about seven years now. So, here. so I'm quite excited because they are really nice sofas, although they don't quite match with this colour scheme. I said to, to Jill, we'll have to get a new carpet. But obviously we can't, because I'm not going to change the carpet in a rented flat when I've got no money whatsoever. It's been really funny, actually, having no money. I don't know how I get by. Probably because when I did have money, I bought loads of food. And I think having a lot of food is important. I know a lot of people, they they can skimp on that and they'd rather spend it on other things and they just like, like have baked beans on toast every single day. Okay, we have quite a lot of baked beans on toast. But I wouldn't want to eat the same exact thing all the time or have no choice. I'd like to be able to have choice. I do tend to eat the same sort of things anyway. But I like to have quite a bit of food in the cupboards. I wasn't brought up with empty cupboards. Um, I confused my webcam then when I shook my head. Uh, I got no lipstick on. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, so some of the dreams I had. Um, the most recent one, I was actually still at college. And I woke up at my mum's. And I, I was running quite late. And I went outside and I was like, where's my bike? Where's my bicycle? Why isn't it in the house or in the in the, in the garden? And, sh and then I thought for a while, and my it's like my brain suddenly kicked in. And then my mum said, "Well, won't it be at your house?" Because <laughs> I suddenly realised I didn't live there. So I was like, "Well, I'll have to get the bus then." Because sometimes in my dreams I still live at my mum's quite a lot of the time actually. Sometimes I realise I live here as well, and I'm kind of living in both houses and going between the two. And either and usually this one is quite cold and empty and and being abandoned because I've forgotten I lived here or something or sometimes other people live here that's my cat if you can hear well two of them fighting sort of stop it please Ollie come on good girl um was I saying yeah so I, ra I went up to get the bus and then there was a whole rigmarole at the bus because there was something going wrong with the buses and it was all a big nightmare and um and then at some point I ended up getting on the wrong bus. I was on a bus and I went to the driver and I, I, he seemed to be going the wrong way. So I said, well, what, what time will you be in town or something? And he said, oh, well, yesterday we set off at 6 a.m. and we got there at 11. And I said, oh, gosh, can I get off the bus, please? I think I'm on the wrong bus. And um, there was another bit where I had to photocopy something and it was like it was in the building that I often dream of when it's a hospital or a school I don't know one where you get lost but it was a bit like the officey bit of the hospital I often dream of and um I had to photocopy this thing and then I it was like I hadn't done my homework and I was really stressed because I knew I was going to fail this course and when I was photo waiting to photocopy it there was this girl I went to school with and she was looking down her nose at me and she said something like I thought you wanted to be a teacher because I said I've got this coursework to do and she said what that college was years ago so, and I, I said well I've gone back to college and um she was telling me all the things she'd done and what have you done and, and I felt really pathetic <laughs> no this is fiction of course this is in my head um it was Catherine her name was she always was a bit condescending really she used to say well that's a good grade for you <laughs> like she would die if she didn't get an A star but if you got a B oh that's good for you 
get lost. Teacher's mum. I mean, her mum was a teacher. That came out the wrong way around. Um, so, yeah, and then I was going along with this piece of paper and I was trying to get a bus. And again, it was chaos and queues and... Um, because, like, everyone was having to queue in the same place for all different buses. And there was this arcade game, and I actually made up an arcade game. Do you remember um, Street Fighter? We used to play that, and um, I'm, like, made up my own sort of Street Fighter. But I didn't know it was made up until I woke up. And uh, there was this big, massive dude who used to who was dressed sort of effeminate or, like, camp. He was really, really camp or baby. He was like a giant baby camp sort of big massive character he was quite noticeable i think he had like a pink fan and some sort of shorts on and um there was this other character who was quite mysterious and she almost she had two characters fighting for her she had this little girl like a little chinese girl on a chain or something or or she was scared at least like a submissive girl she'd throw in and she also had this thing that was on her hand like a big pink claw not a claw like it had a mouth with teeth and it was long on her arm and she'd like throw that in and it'd sort of chomp, 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 and get it. so she was standing right back she wouldn't go in and um there was other there were other car characters but they're the two that i remember the most and i remember there was this girl playing it called sarah who used to work with Jill and I don't know whether I was imagining her playing it with her friends because she reminds me of my my sister how she used to be when she used to play those games um so they look a bit alike with their sort of the way they dress and their hair and stature or how she used to look if she'd have cut her hair off although it was always tied back um obviously she's cut it off now so um well said I I had some other dreams I dreamt oh. oh yeah I dreamt that I'd somehow we were homeless for some reason we had to break into this house just to squat in this house and it was really well it wasn't a particularly nice house but like I thought it was this guy's house and then I heard him talking I heard him talking to some other guys and they were like oh, and he said something like I found the key and under the mat and oh yeah it's really good blah, blah. and because at first there was only this other guy who turned up and I was quite scared he was gonna say get out of my house but he was cool about me being there and then all these friends were there and then and they were like trumping about and in the meantime I'd been on the phone to Jared Leto and I was really chuffed to be on the phone to Jared Leto I was talking to him about films and he seemed a bit annoyed that I was talking to him about films like Bored because I think he's really into the music more than the movies and um, but he seemed he was really nice but I just really wanted to say like stupid things like I love you Jared I'm your biggest fan and I couldn't say any of that cause I was trying to think of like intelligent questions to ask him and I thought I did quite well, and then when I got off the phone, I was like cringing, thinking, "Oh, I asked that. Why did I ask that? Oh, couldn't you think of anything better? Oh, what an idiot!" And um, I think I dreamt that because I thought I'd seen him on a poster for a film, but it wasn't him. It was Antonio Banderas. But it was night, and I was cycling past quite fast. And we looked it up, and it wasn't. It wasn't him. If the lighting looks funny, I haven't got my extra lamp on. That might be why I'm so lazy. Another dream I had was it was a lot like playing Fable, but I was looking out of the eyes of the character. And it was in different landscapes, including like including a an impossible an impossible structure like an Escher with with like steps with steps that go down and up like around in a corner so that you can't get to the underneath bit I was trying to get under this bridge and I couldn't get there and I did have to fight people but I wasn't scared and I had a car and I was driving this car but I couldn't drive the car very far because um I wasn't even sure if I was meant to be driving the car because it wasn't really quite a road. It was like I was driving it on this um, stone sort of set of steps, like I was saying. 
I think that was only part of a dream though, it was a few days ago. And um, I wanted to get back in the car, but I had to fight these people and I couldn't get under the bridge. So whatever that means. Um, I know they're not full dreams, I'm so sorry, but um, I have to sort of get up and get on with things straight away and it's really, I really don't have time to write them down and um, I really should have made a video sooner. Apart from, okay, so we've covered dreams, we've covered my what I'm doing at the moment. We've, um, I've been really self-critical. I'm. I do tend to be very analytical and very critical of not just myself but everything. So unfortunately, sometimes that stops me doing things because I feel it's not good enough. It's part of the reason I post these vlogs even though they're not good enough because I feel like if I don't do that or I don't do things like that then I won't do anything because I'll just spend my whole time thinking and planning and not actually doing so I really do try a lot of the time just to do just do it they didn't pay me to say that um, so it's been a really long vlog and I really should go um, and I'll probably remember all the really important things I was supposed to say um, but thank you for watching and thank you for everyone that supports me and bothers to watch these you're pretty damn special bye